Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the week holds for Virgo. What does the week hold for Virgo? Okay, the Ace of Cups, very nice. All right, um, so the Aces are inspiration from the Divine. I'm going to put this back in here. Um, let's see. Ace of Cups. All right, what is the advice for Virgo this week? Okay. The Three of Pentacles. Everybody's getting the Three of Pentacles. And the outcome for Virgo. The outcome for Virgo. It's the Six of Pentacles. Very nice. All right. Um, let's see here. Some of you are strategizing, thinking about the future, uh, long-term goals, plans, investments, your foundation, your, uh, yeah, your foundation, uh, your home, your children. Um, you're taking a minute to, some of you also are planning a vacation here. You're taking a rest from, um, being divided in your heart and your mind. Also, some of you are actually going through some healing phase, some recovery phase. And how you're doing that, it looks like you're just not going to think about it anymore. You're going to try to um, think of things that bring you peace, comfort, solitude, serenity. Some of you, uh, this week, you could be trying to reinvent yourself. By way of beauty, fashion, um, your look, your overall look, um, how you present yourself to the world, your self-identity, you're taking some time for you, you've gotten some inspiration also about maybe business or a business opportunity. It says that if you embark on this, it could be profitable for you with the Ace of Cups here. Also, some of you just really taking a, a break from maybe someone that you love a little bit more than they love you. That's what the Ace of Cups says. Uh, some of you are definitely engaging in spirituality, uh, ritual, um, religion, regimen about yourself in order to see some significant change. Oh my gosh, I see the biggest butterfly I thought it was a bird that is so beautiful yeah some of you are having transformation going through that butterfly phase wow that's a huge butterfly I wish I could get this on camera wow okay I'm gonna leave it alone some of you whatever you present could have the capacity to be huge to be big to be extremely visible. It's just like sitting outside of my window. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, it's comfortable here. I don't know if you, you get into a place where you're just going to be comfortable in you. But that only comes through spirituality, reinventing yourself and your self-identity and how you um, present yourself. The Three of Pentacles is your advice. The Three of Pentacles says... Um, works okay um what you're doing what you're doing is uh quality work um, you might need an outside um, person to help you see something through or you've also in your work the reason why it's so high quality is because you can merge the feminine and the masculine energy uh you know um you you can uh, carry both of those energies, and then also it's it's held together by that divine uh, that divine spark. 
So you've got the divine, and then you have the masculine, the feminine energy, which gives you three, which is the three of pentacles. That's why your work is so high quality. That's why you're superior, or people are looking at your work um, and seeing that it's superior to others. There could, you can work in the legal field, legal issues, legal, with the three of pentacles here. Something about written word. Um, someone is looking at what you're doing or vice versa. You're looking at what someone else is doing. You might even want to collaborate here. How to build, how to build a business, how to collaborate, how to, um, you could also want to do something with a masculine energy, um, collaborate with a masculine energy, You're trying to figure out how to share your life with the other person. You want them to figure out how to share their life with you. The Three of Pentacles is it. You just feel like it's constant uh, rebuilding. It's constant building, but there's no structure. There's no status. There's no status change. There's no stability. It's just building and building and building. And what are we building towards is what the Three of Pentacles eventually starts to ask. You put in a lot of devotion into a certain person, place, or thing. Some outside energy, influence, maybe siblings, neighbors, someone around you brings you a lot of, um, it, it, it kind of molds how you're thinking and your communication. It molds how you're thinking about coming together with um, a masculine energy. I don't know if So outside people, neighbors, friends, siblings, you're looking at their life and it kind of shapes your own thought process, your own thought patterns. You might need to early, early education. What, what did you learn early on? Wow, that butterfly is beautiful. He didn't leave you this full. Okay, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. Um, something about early childhood early education what you learn it, it really is shaping you now in terms of how you deal with maybe a masculine energy or feminine energy or the opposite or whatever or how you create or what you are creating the six of pentacles and the outcome says that um you, so these two cards say, I want to build something with the opposite energy, which would be masculine or feminine, whomever is coming to the reading. But these two cards together says that I also want to maintain my independence, my autonomy, my space, and I'm maybe keeping relationships, you know, at arm's length. There is no intimacy here. It's all surface level and surface based. So you're in direct opposition, contradiction to what it is you really want. With the Six of Pentacles and the outcome, you feel like you feel powerless in terms of what you've been putting your force or exerting force into because it's not working. So now, therefore, you feel powerless. You feel like the other person has the power. Okay? Is that the power dynamic is off. I've been putting in all this work, excuse me, all this force over a certain amount of time and it's still not working. Therefore, I feel powerless. So it looks like you just need to redirect and refocus yourself in terms of a relationship. In terms of finding balance also. In terms of harmony. Um someone gives just enough to keep you hanging in there keep you holding on to hope to keep things balanced and harmonious also this may even be a question of getting money needing money what about the future The 
the Six of Pentacles and how it comes in that there are problems in this connection. Uh, it could be a second marriage, second significant relationship. It could be the problem is giving, 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 um, and not receiving, okay? And not receiving what it is you need to, to stay in it, to keep going. Or you, you're not getting enough, enough of something. Enough of time, enough, enough time, enough money, enough um, repayment. You feel like something is one-sided here. This about uh, okay. Nothing will come of this situation. Something is void, of course. So maybe you you just don't have. Um, there's no plan here. Uh, once again, giving to a situation and not getting uh, what you deserve or what it is, or not getting an adequate return. You're getting inadequacy. You're getting just enough or not even enough here. Um, nothing will come of this situation. I'm just bored, bored, of course. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra. Someone is taking a rest and letting you do all the work. And they, they're they just resting in the fact that you're going to do all of the work. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.